At the beginning of the year, I started a marathon training program. Day after day, week after week. For four months, I'm chasing sunrises throughout my winter until spring. Cold rain. On the eve of 2023, I decided to sign up for the Jersey City Marathon. 26.2 miles, 42 kilometers. I ran a full marathon before. Four years ago, I ran the 2019 New York City Marathon. I thought that was my one and done life event that I can cross off a list. Finishing the New York City Marathon that year was way more than just completing my first proper marathon event. It was partly a testament of overcoming my self-doubt and a sense of loss. The journey that has taken me through training for the New York City Marathon up to the starting village, I felt like I was in the process of reclaiming a part of myself that I've lost through profound sadness and debilitating anxiety. Now, four years later, four years older, what's compelling me to run a marathon again? I want to return to the marathon distance with this renewed sense of fitness and headspace. I'm coming off from a previous year where I just ran a bunch of road races and I feel great. Will I set a new personal best time? Will I even eke into a Boston finishing time? Forecast is being overly optimistic that this rain will let up by the start of the race. This is what marathon training is for. It's not just physical, it's mental, mostly mental. I'm stoked that the big race is here. While I have trained in heavy rain and wind, I haven't trained in those conditions for all of 26.2 miles. The first mile, there was this giant pool of water that has collected onto the middle of the streets. I think this was the initiation and foreshadowing of what would be for the next 26.2 miles. Running instills a lot of confidence in me. I started running five years ago mostly out of curiosity and also mental health. There are moments in my mid-30s I start realizing, you know, there's not a lot of time left. I only get this one life to try things. My attempt to qualify for the Boston Marathon is merely out of curiosity and a self-challenge. If I don't finish the Jersey City Marathon with a Boston qualifying finish, it doesn't mean I failed. It means I attempted it. And that's all that matters. Mile 18, I was a little worried that I may not have enough gas to carry me through to the finish. If I should be picking my pace or should I stay conservative? Okay, I think this is the part where I could push just a little, maybe just a little. My calves are starting to tighten up. So I stayed conservative and I'm glad I did because by mile 23, there was that final stretch of an incline. As exhaustion set, I start to toss my goals out. Personal time, Boston qualifying time, yeah, that's out the window. All these numbers, pace, finish times, they're all arbitrary at the end of the day. It shouldn't define me as a runner. All I can think of is I just want to see this race through and finish. Why am I running a marathon again? Why am I running this marathon? I trained for this. I'm here. I'm ready for this. I know that finishing a marathon is only going to be valuable to me. It's not going to mean a whole lot to other people. It still matters to me. Just being here, at this race, at this very moment, this is already a win for me. There it is, mile 26. I think it's about showtime. My legs were screaming. I muster any energy I had left in my legs, my heart, willed it towards that finish line.
yeah. I'm just happy it's over. <laughs>